morning currently in the car because we are taking rosie to the vet just to like get her checked up since we just adopted her um it's a saturday i don't know if i said that but she's gonna film a little weekend in my life vlog this is the start of it oh no oh, don't no my you gotta sit on me i know you're used to taking my seat you gotta sit on me baby girl you're used to it say hi to the vlog just the start of a weekend in my life vlog if you like it don't forget to give a thumbs up, leave any comments down below, and subscribe if you're new, because you can see more of this little girl. Say hi. Say hi to the people, Rosie. Rosie did so good at the vet. She did not like her shots. Besides that, she did good. She talked to the people. Well, not talked to the people, but she went up to the people. So we're making progress. just made lunch. We got chicken, a zucchini, and fettuccine alfredo pasta roni. We just watched last night's episode of Love Island. Brian Brexton and I are literally obsessed with the show. It's like the best worst show. It's like kind of dramatic and ridiculous, but it's really entertaining. Um, so we'll probably keep watching that the next few weeks. Um, but yeah, we had to catch up on last night's episode because we didn't have time to watch it last night. Oh, there's Rosie moving around. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I might take a nap because I'm kind of tired. Brian and I are going to the Padres game tonight and, um, like his new job, there's like a special event, um, with people from his work. So we're going to go, um, and hang out before the game there and then go to the game and then probably go to bed after that because it'll be late. Just finished getting ready for the baseball game. Hair, makeup, and then this is my outfit. Just this black crop tank from Brandy. These jeans are from Forever 21. And then my favorite shoes are my kids. So this is the fit. I need some kind of jacket because it's gonna get kind of chilly at night. But I don't know what to wear because I wanna wear a zip up, but I only have one right now because I got rid of the other ones because I didn't like them. But I feel like the zip up doesn't really fit the baseball vibe. So, we'll see what I end up wearing. Hi. Hi. We got home a little while ago from the Padres game. Um, we left before the game ended because we didn't want to deal with traffic and stuff, and the game ended up going into extra inning anyways. So we came home and now just got all ready for bed. Probably going to read for a few minutes just to chill and then go to bed, and tomorrow we have a lot of things to do, just a bunch of like errands to run, and yeah. See you tomorrow.
got home from the gym a little while ago. Just did a short little like treadmill workout. Nothing too crazy because I'm really sore because we went to a training session on Friday with a personal trainer. It was like free when we signed up for this new gym and I'm still sore from that. So didn't want to do anything crazy but definitely wanted to work out. So just walked on the treadmill for a while and we went to the store we'll real quick to grab a few things for dinner and now I'm gonna shower and then we're gonna go to Brian's old house to like pick up the rest of his stuff and I think we're gonna go to Costco and then I also want to go to Barnes and Noble today to pick up some books because I have a gift card so I want to use that and yeah not too exciting of a day um, just kind of getting stuff done because it's a Sunday <music> farthest we've gotten Rosie on a walk. I'm very impressed. We got around the corner. Hopefully we can get her a little bit farther. Just got home. We went to Barnes & Noble, Costco, and then we went to Brian's old house to pick up a bunch of stuff. Um, we got some things from Costco. We got foil because we needed new foil. I got these um, hard seltzers and then we got these Lara bars to try out and then we also got this bacon this is really good because it's just easy to throw in the microwave um, and that's all you have to do and then we also got paper towels and toilet paper yeah that was everything that we got from Costco hey guys I wanted to film a quick little book haul in this vlog of what I got at Barnes & Noble, I got a few books because I had a $25 off gift card and a 20 extra 20% 20 off a book. So I got a few different things. This first book is called Love and Luck by Jenna Evans Welsh. This is the same girl who wrote Love and Gelato, which is such a cute, adorable book. Perfect for summer, especially if you're like on a vacation. Definitely pick up that book to read. But this is the second one, and I saw that it was 20% off, so I decided to buy that one. Then I got Nicholas Sparks' A Bend in the Road. I love Nicholas Sparks' books, and I thought I would pick up one that I hadn't read yet. And I'm pretty sure that, like, extra 20% off came off of this book. And, like, my grandma has a Barnes & Noble membership, so I got 10% off of everything, too. So that was the next book. And then I've been wanting this book for a while, and it is The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Hoot. <laughs> Um, and this one is member save 40% off, so it was only $14.99 when this hardcover book is normally $24.99, so that was a good deal, and I wanted this book, so got that one. The last two books Brian and I got right at the checkout, they had, like, blind date books, um, so they're, like, in these packages, and they have a short little description, and they were only $4 each, which is, like, a really good book deal, plus the 10% off, they were, like, $3 and 40 cents or something. So I'm going to open these ones. This is the one that I picked. It said, Def Daphne has the perfect picture life, dream job, amazing husband, beautiful ranch home. But when an unexpected affair turns her world upside down, Daphne has to question, is picture perfect really worth it? I hope this is a good book. Let's see what it is. So this is Save Me, a novel by Kristen Kusick Lewis. Um, yeah, it looks like romance book um looks pretty good um and on here it says it is original price five fifteen dollars and then it's marked down to 5.98 and then like i bought it for like 320 so good deal and then this is the one brian picked and it says when the kids go off to college and the nest is empty there are family secrets revealed um this is called jane green Family something? I can't. The sticker blocks it. Family Pictures by Jane Green. Um, kind of looks like also a romance book. I don't know. I think this will be interesting, but I don't know if Brian will really like it. But 
those are the two like blind date books so that was kind of fun like I said they were like three dollars or something after like my Marts and Noble membership discount so overall I got all of these books it was $45 for all of them which $45 for five books is pretty good that's like $8 each and then I also had a $25 gift card so I only paid $20 for all of those books which I was really happy about um I don't have any more room in my bookshelf though so I need to figure out where I'm going to be putting all of my books now I'm going to go downstairs Brian and I are going to start making dinner because we're making homemade mac and cheese um so I'm really excited but we got to go start making it because it has to like cook and then bake so it's gonna take a while so I'm gonna go start that and I don't know what else we're gonna do this evening I'm probably gonna like just watch some YouTube videos and chill making homemade mac and cheese <laughs> we almost uh, blew up our kitchen but we're good now <laughs> we got the sauce going we got our pasta we got the bacon the, the cheese is going in soon yeah just been chilling and watching some YouTube videos since we made dinner. I think I'm gonna get ready for bed. I might do a face mask um, just cause I just kinda wanna chill and relax. I don't have much else to do tonight. Um, I'm not gonna shower cause I showered after the gym and I'm planning on going to the gym tomorrow so I want to just shower after then. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go wash my face, brush my teeth, do a face mask, all that good stuff.